Hello, friend, and thank you for tuning in. My name is Daniel Carrizales from StockMusicLicensing.com. Now, today I want to share with you three secrets to making money selling stock music on royalty-free libraries. Now, the first secret will be to be non-exclusive, to have a non-exclusive account. And I have spoken about this in the past many, many times. And, and the reason why is because the only way that you can guarantee that you're going to be making money on a regular basis is to have your music, the same music track on different uh, non-exclusive libraries. Now, in the past, I used to have just one exclusive account. And, and what that meant is that I, have, uh, I had all of my eggs in one basket. All of my music tracks were just in the same library. In this case, it was uh, in Audio Jungle. And uh, it took me a, a few years to realize that I can actually sell that same music track on other libraries like Pond5 and, and production tracks, Melody Loops, and, and many, many others. So uh, I have changed my account. And, and, and really what, what this did for me was to actually test the market out there and, and really see very quickly that tracks that were not performing or they were not selling in, on, on Audio Jungle were actually selling on Pond5 and vice versa. So you will find that this is uh, something that is really real uh, for stock music uh, composers. And, uh, you know, I have colleagues that uh, uh, their, <laughs> their income have really, really uh, changed dramatically because of this as well. I have had students of mine who, who were very uh, very skeptical of this idea of actually turning your, your exclusive account in, in Audio Jungle to a non-exclusive account. But, uh, for example, this uh, particular student uh, sent me a message quite recently. And, and, and you know, I, they can see that the benefits, and this, is, this happens uh, really quickly, okay? In a matter of a few months, you can uh, see the difference. And... I can only speak from my own experience, but as well for, for the comments and the messages that I get from my students as well, that they can see that there is no reason why you should have your music on an exclusive account locked in, in a place, especially like Audio Jungle, where uh, uh, sales do fluctuate a lot across all different libraries, but especially in Audio Jungle, we have seen a, a big decrease in, in, in sales or, or a lot of uh, fluctuation. It just It's just very, a lot of... Uh, peaks and then a lot of valleys and you can't really predict the market and uh, for example i haven't uploaded uh, anything on audio jungle for the last few months and obviously sales have decreased a lot but on pond five if i show you here very quickly uh sales have not uh decreased at all actually in pond five my sales have uh, if anything they, they, they were a little bit slow when they introduced the new uh, share cut for some reason. And I guess it's after the summer uh, holidays as well. And my friend Evan from Stock Music Musician did a video quite recently as well. And, and sharing his, his takings on Pond5. And we had a little bit of a conversation like, yes, you're not the only one. But uh, keeping in mind that quite recently some sales have actually been happening after the cut. And, and, and it's the same thing. I haven't uploaded anything here. So judging by that, I can tell you right now that I have more sales on Pond5 than I do on Audio Jungle. And, and this has, has changed quite, quite recently, actually. Okay. So here I have a few different sales. I have uh, as well some, some, some edits, you know, which is my second secret. You have to do edits. You have to do uh, alternative edits, which is the 60 second, 30 second, and uh, 15 second edits, and stings and bumpers. If you see here, for example, I have uh, Deck the Holes uh, bumper number two because I've done a few of them. And, and this sells, and, and mind you, like I mentioned before, I sell my, pro my music on, on Pond5 the same price point. And this is something that you cannot do on Audio Jungle, for example. Uh, I cannot sell uh, this uh, deck, the holes. I have uh, the main track, which is like a minute and something, the full version. And then I have uh, different edits like stingers and bumpers and, and loop versions of them. But on, on 5, like I mentioned to you, you can actually sell this as an individual file. And I sell that for $47.97. After the cut, I get sixteen uh, seventy nine. On Audio Jungle, if you if I want to sell that particular track, which I, I I will have it there, I will have the main track with the edits, but it will be all under the same uh, price point. And 
you can't really uh, uh, separate that file or you cannot really sell it on its own, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, now I have here Deck the Holes, uh, again, another edit, 30 seconds. So I have Deck the Holes is part of the same, um, sorry, it's part of the same uh, uh, track, but it's been sold separately again for $47.97. Uh, this is a bigger license, it's a premium license, which means it's, it's, it's going for a much bigger audience. And uh, it's gonna be for a different project and I get uh, $30 from that because it was sold for $87.57. So uh, the point of this uh, video is to show you that there's different uh, ways of making money, but these are the three main ones, okay? Uh, another uh, here, let me see here. Here I am on Melody Loops, for example. These are very, very small takings. I have shared this a lot in the, in the past. Uh, you can see here that I have different uh, licenses, different different sales. Uh, it's been a little bit of a quiet month, believe me. But still I have a different sales. I have one of, like it's almost like a hit, I guess, or a bestseller. This particular one, Morning Coffee in the Park. Uh, but they're very small sales. And towards the end of the month, you can see I have a few uh, Christmas things happening. That's good because I have made a few uh, Christmassy uh, music tracks in the past and it's good to have them on your portfolio so you can sell them whenever the season uh, is arriving okay so you can see a lot of uh, but you see the same uh, track again and again here morning coffee in the park morning coffee in the park and that this is an acoustic track of mine because I'm a guitar player I try to focus on my strengths and this brings me to the third and final secret you have to focus on your strength because the more you focus on your strength uh, the more you're gonna be able to 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 sell that music track, okay? So again, this is something that it took me a few years to 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 really uh, sink in and actually focus on what I am good at and not on my weaknesses. I have mentioned many times in the past that I I, I love uh, cinematic music and orchestral music. I love to I love the piano as an instrument, but I'm not really a piano player, so I'm not gonna really uh, spend much time on on those kind of tracks because I will have to program the piano parts and the cinematic things as well. I will have to do a lot of editing and, and it's not really my strength. I can do it, but, but it's not really my, my, that where my, 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 my strength lies. So, you know, I'm a guitar player, so I can actually set up the mic, grab an acoustic guitar and record a, a, a track like the one I'm showing you right now, uh, Morning Coffee in the Park. And I have many like this, uh, uh, which is just a very uh, minimal, uh, acoustic track in the style of uh, folk slash Americana, uh, very low key. Uh, it's what I call a commercial, uh, a breakfast commercial kind of a style of music or a granola bar <laughs> a commercial or uh, like a coffee, like a coffee kind of like a background music when you're having a coffee, uh, you know, and then on a Sunday morning kind of thing or in a park for that matter. So those are my three uh, secrets uh, for you to start making money by selling your stock music on royalty free sites. Now, uh, it, this might seem like it's quite obvious, but it, it's, it, it's, if you're starting out, this could be a little bit um, helpful, I hope, because it's something that I wish uh, uh, somebody would have told me this in the very, very beginning. So, because the end goal here is to actually make money by selling our stock music, okay? And you wanna be uh, laser focused on what's important because it could be a little bit overwhelming, okay? And if you're starting out doing the stock music, feel free to download my free guide, link in the description, and you can just check it out. And it's just seven steps for you to, to really get you, get you started, really. And even if you're, uh, you have already a little bit of experience with stock music, just feel free to download that free guide for you that I've, I've done. And, uh, and that's it. Again, thanks a lot for all the love and support. Thanks a lot for, for watching the videos. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. Go and check all the other videos I have concerning stock music and making money on the side, uh, selling your, your royalty-free music on, on sites like Pond5, Audio Jungle, and the likes. In the guide, I have a, a, a list of different libraries where I personally sell my music and uh, hope this is helpful to you. Leave in the comment section um, what's your take on this video. If you're having some success on, on, on one library and, and maybe the other one is not, uh, some, some of your music does not sell or vice versa and, and we, can, we can share our experience uh, 
in, in this fantastic world of stock music. Again, here's to your success and uh, rock and roll.